designed for four people. You've designed a new overlay for four? I mean, five. Five? Yeah, no, I think... No, he just meant that his overlay hasn't changed because we expected Rui to show up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll change it back when it's, like, when it's there. Actually, I could do it on stream right now, but it won't be pretty. <laughs> I won't do it on stream. I... Yeah. My assumption was that he would actually Still wake up. Podcast. Yeah. I think I, I think the dynamic is best when everyone's around. Maybe we can just kind of chill out for a bit. If he doesn't show up, we'll push to next week. This is pretty unfortunate because you know he was alive and fine today. Do you guys want to hear? I guess we shouldn't. We shouldn't start with uh, the. We we shouldn't start like that a uh, full topic, right? Right. Yeah. So, in desperate times and desperate measures, are we gonna do this? <laughs> I do like that as a topic. Oh, knock knock. Give oh. me a second. That. Oh. Oh. That real oh. person. Oh, it's a Verna. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. She's gone. Okay. I gotta quickly I gotta quickly reorganize my windows as well. Okay, sounds good. Take your time. Well. No, I'm just changing the B right back one so people don't dox my fucking Discord. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, alright. Since that's happening. We're gonna Oh, you wanna hear something a little darker, Curtis? Oh, wow, I fixed it. What's that? Can I barely not see catch a break in this house. I barely see much of the news that happens around Richmond very much. Like we we don't have many significant things, right? Yeah, it's a while ago I was playing Watch Dogs. Like I'm talking like two weeks ago. One or two. 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 Okay. And I was basically involving the like three different gangs and a police in a shootout because I didn't want to be in the shootout. Okay. And you know context matters. So there's a lot of like sirens in the back in the video game and i was like oh okay whatever whatever it's time sirens are going for like 15 20 minutes and i'm like damn sirens have been going for a while is this my game take my earphones off <laughs> there were no sirens in the game it's been blaring for the last few like you know 10 15 20 minutes outside anyways i was kind of scary so i look we, we kind of looked up like me and my mother what caused so many sirens word got around that some girl yossed herself off of like the 11th floor and i was like i don't like i don't like this building anymore Ooh, that's not that's that's rough that's very rough. yeah we don't have really here do you guys want to do like games or viewer games again games or this we can do a bit of both honestly yeah yeah, no overlay. Ca very casual. Yeah. Wonder where our man went. We can. I think he's just asleep, honestly. Knowing still Rui. Got, still got that new book smell. Oh, that's such a good smell. <laughs> Actually, like... a great smell. This mm. is why I like going into Indigo just to smell like the new book smell. Okay, okay never mind. Claire walks into Indigo? Okay, no, no, no. This is Claire. She'll walk into Indigo, pick up a random book, and be like. Put it back that's never happened. He's department. never been in Indigo with me. I go in for yeah, like seeing what kind of new uh, yeah, I have. cooking books are there. Downtown. I always beeline okay. straight for the gadgets. Candle. See, you don't even remember what I did. I'm making fun of you, okay? I shouldn't make fun of you being a book sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> a book sniffer. I got wow. so many books over there in that shelf. There's double stacked books in there that I just don't read anymore. This is probably... but there's also shit like you. You see this? This is the ancient fairy dragon Yu Gi Oh tin. Ah. Yeah. I probably only what? have three books in my no, a line, five books in my uh, in my room right now. Uh, one, one is this. Actually... Second oh, is the Bible. Uh, third one is the BC Health uh, Health Guide. It's like a big thick book. Uh, and then the other two is uh one's like a machining book and then the other one's like a textbook for school also about machining i was about to say you have a bible in your room and i realized you're a christian man yes i also have a bible in my room but i am not a christian 
I used to have the Book do of Mormon we, in here as well. Do we count books located in virtual devices? Right, you bless oh, our no, physical God. books. I, I swear, used... I have like the same case. It's pretty standard, isn't it? Ah. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah, it's, Dude, my, it's a generic uh, case, yeah. My bookshelf isn't even full of books, it's just albums. The only book I have in my entire room is a uh, good old... Yeah, me too, Vinny. Korean made some... <laughs> <laughs> How far along is are you on the book? Uh, like, almost halfway, honestly. Oh. So you should be able to speak, like, half Korean, right? <laughs> Come slap me, Dad. Close Onion say ho. You're enough. getting there. You're getting there. It's close enough. You're uh, you're wrong, but we're getting there. <laughs> okay, I don't know how many people in Darian's chat like. We have seven. Method. Seven. No, like how many of them uses iPads or anything to do drawing or notes? But like, damn, very, very useful. I use but my then, tablet like, to do drugs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's nice, dude. It's a the, nice glass surface, and then you're like chopping it up, and it's nice and clear. God damn it! Scratch resistant, so you can just use a razor and you just scrape. Because I have like okay. twelve textbooks in here. Remember how I was talking about oh. how these stupid pen nibs for my Wacom tablet? Right. These. Here. Do you see this? This. Yeah. Is five dollars. No way. This piece of plastic is five dollars. I mean, I expect that. Specific plastics are like very expensive. So you see, like, oh. So I bought a roll of fishing line. This is a credible hack um, that people have been doing for their Wacom tablets, and not have a blue nib. How how far how far is it supposed to stick out? Um, it's supposed to stick out about... Mm, as far as you want it, baby. <laughs> three millimeters. So mine is sticking out four millimeters instead because I made it purposely a millimeter longer. So the entire length of it is supposed to be 2.6, but I made it 2.7 instead. Uh, centimeters. Okay. Yes. I was thinking in Imperial, so I'm, I'm trying to... Oh, Imperial? Not sure. We don't work in Imperial three. here. Uh, three millimeters divided by 25.4. But I can give you a comparison from, like, the actual nib. Like, when I hold them up... Yeah. Because to be honest... There's, it, like, one millimeter one, difference. Uh, the blue one's, like, because it's fishing line, it's more flexible, right? It's... A little bit more flexible, yeah. yes. So but, it's actually softer. But it doesn't matter because when you have that short distance, there's no, like, droop. There's no or, flex. Yeah, there's no flex. Exactly. So. There's no flex. I thought fishing lines were Sorry, it's like, not a clear. fishing line. It's um a universal trimmer line. So it's actually for lawnmowers. Oh, it's the weed whacking oh, things. The weed but whack line. It's, um, only this diameter, the... Point six point zero six five inch thou. one. This is the only one that fits in these pens. Sixty five thousand. That's oh, one sixteen. That's one sixteen. Is it? No. Uh, it says one thirty second. One comma seven millimeter. I don't know what that means. One point seven mil. Okay. Oh, no, it's, I, I, no, I, I see the product right now online. It's 1.7 mil, 300 inches long, so 91 meters long. Yes, yeah, so this will last me forever. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> or until my tablet breaks again, because my last tablet just stopped working out of the blue. Ooh, mm, that's yes. rough. I had it for yeah. six years. Oh, one. man, I wonder why it stopped working. I mean, it's Dude, not... Dude, I if it didn't was, do anything to it. I, if it was alive for six years, I would have been like, it could shit the bed any day and I would be completely satisfied with my purchase. No, it was like... um, Like, it could set on fire for all I care if it's still working after six years. I thought it'd be fine. The line was discontinued <laughs> three years hey. before it hey, went. Hey, here someone, Someone's Thank subscribed. You, Woo! Woo! 
Oh, oh hell yeah. yeah. We did it. He came back from camp. He subbed after he came back from camp. Wait, what kind of camp? <laughs> Let me sim. Uh, True. Hira was also doing his conscription. Yes. Oh, he was back from camp. Congratulations. Like, Welcome back. He was Welcome not back. run over by a truck. Oh, wow. That's very fortunate. Yeah, unlike a friend of ours. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, one of our closer friends got. It was so funny. He just messages us out of the blue and he's like, I got hit by a truck. And we're like, okay. Are then, you Simon? And, and or are you Simon's like parents? Two weeks beforehand, he said, like, uh, uh, yeah, I shot someone. Conscription. <laughs> Conscription. Uh, and I. It's great. It's just like hearing these stories you don't hear as a civilian. Okay, wait. Um, Minus the whole truck thing that you hear that as a civilian. My Discord has a request for topic, which could work out since Rui's not here for the main one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ko says I'm actually. Very, Ko and Chuck suggested they're very interested in what others' opinions on us as a human race and our future towards like space exploration and like actually living on planets. Okay, like, okay. You got a lot of things going space. 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 Space X. Space. space people humans in space oh i thought you said leg space wait okay. i mean leg space we can also talk about leg space if you really space. want to but I don't... the final frontier these <laughs> voyages of the star Trek. no i can't finish oh it my fucking God. like we can talk about space we can i actually have a lot of thoughts on it Benny's like, holy shit, I've been waiting for this fucking day my whole life. Look at him, he's like praying, he's like so happy. No, no, no. It's, no, um... like, he's like praying, he's like teary-eyed, he's like blanking, he's like, holy shit, I can't believe this is finally happening. Side note for, know, side note for uh, the chat, if th this is legit a book. You guys, on my sc uh, stream, it's like backwards, but uh, on Darren's, it's more correct. It is 3,000 questions about people, and just, if you want us to read through it or like just find one just like drop a number between one to three thousand i'm just gonna change the topic to space exploration slash casual chat today. yeah yeah oh my god like just showing it it's literally just numbers of like questions so hey look there's oh. even enough space for me to just write my answers in there for you <laughs> Fuck it. We can do that too, but let's oh, talk about Oh, space. in the book, you mean? <laughs> yeah. We can talk about some space first, honestly, because yeah. I think Benny has a, a good amount to... Space. I... He's okay, so... To pick with space. At the current he stage of things... Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, because, because, because I'm a fourth year... I'm in fourth year Civ Eng, right? Like, I'm at the end where I'm studying, like, material life cycles and, like, material other material runoffs like phosphorus nitrogen um oil issues that spill into the ocean there's a lot of sustainability issues that i'm tackling right now and i think space is really cool but i feel like we're in a middle section where we're not sure whether to clean up this earth or fuck the earth and leave and like develop tech to do so because terraforming a planet is something I believe that we're not going to be able to actively do. Like, we're going to have to find something where we just dump a chemical there and it's going to have to self-cycle itself to create an atmosphere to go literally anywhere else. Because if you want to go yeah. to another breathable planet, you're traveling for a few hundred years. And, and do you, you can't do, sustain... Yeah, and do you have enough resource to terraform it at, like before you get there? Or you get there and then you terraform it? Yeah, it's it like are you has gonna... to be before they get there. It yeah. has to be before they get there or the before the majority of people is how I see yeah. it. But that's just kind of my thoughts right now in terms of sustainability. It's like, can we purify where we're at right now, like the earth, such that it is livable and gives us enough time to develop into that direction? Or are we just gonna say, fuck it, pack the whole thing up and leave? And then at that point you're gonna have to deal with segregation issues. At that point, it's gonna be Wally -E all over again, and we all know how that ended. Wait, -E? I do want one of those chairs though. Okay, the thing of Wally -E was no. people thought you were very lazy. No, no, no. Like, think about it. Think about it. You're like, do you not want any bones? 
No, and then yeah, you got you... you got like three screens here. You got your keyboard right here, and I'm never standing up, leaving my room ever again. Yeah, but, what, but, but what happens? What happens? Permanent gamer. Well, what happens if there's like a rogue robot that's trying to follow a uh, directive to like never go back to Earth, but then there's an actual built-in system that if it de uh, detects plant life from Earth, it will automatically bring it back because it was the final goal. And then, in what some mean, reason, that whole entire spaceship had to like yeet itself like sideways, and then everybody falls off those chair, and you can't get up. <laughs> what happens that's then? A small thing. I'm gonna be fat, but that's that's a, that's how that's just like my general thoughts on space travel. It's not the brightest thing. I'm not the most optimistic over it, to be honest. But right. it it's just. Um, in consideration of the other issues, balancing it out. But, like, I, I really do want to see... Um, because I watched the SpaceX launch that happened, like, last Saturday. Oh, yeah, but live. You know, it's so fucking litty. That Earth was... is gonna be screwed in a thousand years. It's, caused it's crazy. Under a thousand years, easily. Under yeah. a thousand, easy. We're looking... I, I'm gambling on... Like, another hundred. Two hundred, one hundred, yeah. 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 Which is why I'm worried about having children right now. I don't think I want to bring them into this world. As a 21 year old, I'm worried about having children. Hey, look. I thought about things. <laughs> 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 no, but like okay. the SpaceX uh, launch was super exciting for me to watch because, like, the only exposure to like seeing uh, space launches, is, like, well, movies and actually seeing like the original launch going to the moon it took freaking forever like it you can see the whole entire like structure shaking and then just like really like uh forcing itself to like lift this giant object up in the air and just go up and then you see the spacex mm -hmm. one and then you just like it looks like a model rocket if you shrink it down enough and then there's no shake and it just immediately 15 minutes in it's already orbiting it's already out in orbit, and it's ready to, for the, I think it was like, what, 16, 18 hours to the uh, International Space Station. It's nuts. Yeah. <clears throat> Elon Musk did a good job, honestly. It's also very, I like the spacesuits too. It's a very nice looking. Oh, it's suit. so good. It looks so, like, sci-fi. Bunch of nerds just sitting here evaluating the aesthetics of a possibly non-functional astronaut suit. Was it, uh, was it the Falcon 9 that was the one that um fucked up, or was it the six or fucking nine? Not sure. Ha, six I, remember, or nine. I remember one of the Falcons from uh, they, what is it? it? Like it fucked up. Yeah, it didn't. Long. It didn't stick to landing. But he was happy. Yeah. But he was happy about it because it was actually like progress. Yeah, it's see Elon. Okay, as as a as like a academic, as a scientist, all that shit. He he's he's like the prime example of what you want to be. He's he's like not afraid of failure. He knows he actually takes good criticism. He he like actually puts a lot of effort into his research and everything. He takes good criticism. Did you see how he had a fucking meltdown? <laughs> okay. Most back then, and most of the time, you see. But as a person in general, he, he's... But then again, Elon Musk is also questionable. Haha, <laughs> lol, stocks are too high. My stocks are too no, high. No, legit, his, his tweet was just lol. And then, every, like, uh, and then people just commented, what's like, you gotta share with us what, what's going on. And then he just said, stocks. Yeah. But that was when it went up, not when it went down. Yeah, yeah it's like... When Man. it went up, it was funny. Yeah, when it was went down. Went down, he, he and we're like, like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "My yeah. stocks are." He's like, "Man, my stocks are too high." That's like someone who's saying, "Man, I have too much money." Oh no. You know, I. A little fun fact. I don't know if anybody knows. Um, uh, Elon Musk was in Iron Man too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember that. There was a scene I didn't right. Watch Iron Man. 2. Yeah. There was the, a scene the, the right before. Um. Right before right. Tony Stark goes on a racetrack, he is greeted by, um, he was, at, like, Pep him and Pepper was greeted by Elon Musk, and they were talking about, like, a space program. And then it was, like, oh, missed. it was, like, a oh, I see it. Yeah, and it's pretty, it's nice, like, they were, what was this, 2010? 
Oh my god, ten years ago. Ten years ago. Like I remember because um uh, RMM one came out two thousand eight and then two years later Iron Man two came out, I think. Iron Man one did, What yeah, did yeah. Elon even do in twenty ten? Like I he's he he did his he early did... days was PayPal. Yep. Right. Mm hmm What else what did he do after that? He was on he was on uh what is it? Um Big Bang Theory one time, two mm -hmm. times. He was... 2011 was SpaceX. When was uh, Boring Company? And the Hyperloop. Oh yeah, the Boring Company was a thing. I studied that one. That was great. Uh, let's see. Claire. Boring Company was the one that Inside, sold you're just screaming. No. I'm not no, my brain is like, it's empty in here. And then a little tumbleweed goes through. <laughs> There's like Claire, there's what a are little hamster wheel trouble? going. Wait, My let's ask Claire Walker. Please... Yes, what are your thoughts? I don't have any thoughts on it. I don't know enough. Well, just Claire, a general wouldn't... generalized like ideal of it. Fiction, it's cool, science but fiction. With the way that we're going, it's not very attainable. Okay. Not... What I'm Elon thinking. Musk is listening here right now. Living on another planet, like they've been raving about the froze, the frozen water on Mars for ages now. You can't Not call hard. it ice because they're saying that it's possibly inhabitable. It's just straight up inhabitable, I think, right now. Mm -hmm. Like, <sighs> I think it is minus the amount of terraforming they have to do like there is yeah you're gonna have to bring a lot to it like right now we, there is like zero biodiversity yeah in anywhere else in our solar system right you know now. what if i trust anyone though i trust elon musk to do it elongated muskrat dude he <laughs> laughed it at he laughed at a deer at the bottom of a swimming pool look so would i i would, I would do honestly would you not I'm a but sucker for shock No. I mean, and we are. I mean, I'm the person that when I look at that, I'll go, "Oh dear." Fuck. Like, off. like I would be the person to do that, and then I'll like laugh my own ass off. <laughs> no Starcraft. Yeah, we're all gonna well, die. We can become a multi-planet civilization. No Starcraft. Oh, Honestly, dear, indeed, could be the case unfortunately like my my education is currently scaring me so much and like propping it up that like if we don't fix this we're gonna fucking die and i'm like okay like i'm not here to fix the earth i'm here to build a building See, you have to fix that problem and then my job is to just build whatever you tell me you want me to build a spaceship all right i'll build some parts for you yeah like that's well I don't know. It, I, I guess it secures me a job in the future. Like Curtis, where's my spaceship? We clean things up. Your spaceship? But... Yeah, where's our spaceship? Where's our DGen 1? Blast off in <laughs> 3, 2, 1. And it, t it just tips and it just tips <laughs> over. <laughs> and I didn't know that it just goes up. It just, and it just immediately tips over. <laughs> <laughs> and it just goes straight over in the water. No, no, no worries. I've played enough Kerbal Space Program to... Uh... I've played enough with Bottle Rockets where it's just you accidentally tip it and you just try to go off as far as possible. You aim for the <laughs> soccer uh, the soccer uh, goal. <laughs> but I don't, I, I don't know. I think multi-planet civilizations are really great. Like, the idea is there, but we are not progressive enough to i think see it within our lifetime true yeah i believe that's the current issue because we just solved we technically we just solved the problem of getting out to space yeah like we're getting out to space now which is great but we need to develop different sciences to make something habitable or full send to just deliver people elsewhere like adam and eve Fucking Dr. Stone fucking freeze them and send them off. Like, that's something that may happen? I don't know. But it, it is really cool, though. It is really cool, and I wish I could see it in my lifetime. I hope I do when I'm 60-something. Yeah, like, fucking Dr. Stone petrify them, send them off, like, you know, yeah, like a little bottle of acid. On people who claim this face, the moon landing was fake. 
Have you ever yeah. met? Have you ever met a, a person? Because I met a person once who was like hard to, on telling me the moon landing was fake, and I just sat there like you know, I'm kind of stuck here. And I, I don't think I can reason with this man anyway, so I'll just listen to what he has to say anyways to see it. To, get, to well, do something. Did you learn anything? Of course not. I think some moon landing's fake. What the fuck? I had a guy I in the astronomy 100 class at UVic who on the first day stood up and talked to the prof. And this prof was like a five-star prof, right? He's one of those like really good, smart, eloquent guys. And he was like, I think the moon landing is fake. You can't convince me otherwise. But give it a shot. And like he, it wasn't satire. Like this is good. This guy was deadpan serious. And they had like 30 minutes of just arguing back and forth. And I was just sitting here like, I'm not even in this class. I should go get some food. Like, <laughs> I can't how? take this anymore. I want to know like where are they lacking the like where where is their point of view in this? Like where are they lacking the like knowledge or education that they like of that of like the original space travel and like the moon landing and all that and then do they still teach that in school right now no the no moon right landing? the moon landing no. like specifically the moon landing i feel like it's brought up and it's common knowledge that why it, do people like, think like okay, here's a i would imagine like 40 years ago 50 years ago where it's still like very relevant or like still close um like people still remember it like um okay hold on is it 50 years ago shit <laughs> but i mean like because it's such a big event people would have to learn it in school about it like when you first like when you first learn about the moon that, I think the logical next thing you talk about is the moon landing. Have we been there? Yes, we have. Yeah. I I don't know. I'd have to ask my nephew. But, like, for sure, I think kids would believe it's real. Like, they have no reason not to believe it. And then he comes back at you and, like, Haha, you think space is real? Yeah, yeet. XD. All right, I'm going to message him on Discord right now. <laughs> Uh, hey. On Discord? hey, I got a question, dude. Did you learn about the moon landing in school? And do you think it's real? All right, wait, there's a explain it like I'm five. Is, Why do people? Okay, it is 51 years. Okay, so explain it like I'm five. Why do people deny the moon landing? The most compelling case for moon landings isn't any one piece of actual evidence, but rather the fact that the Soviets didn't call bullshit. We were ready to nuke each other back in the Stone Age, and even they admitted that we got there first. Okay. Okay. So, Wait, that was that. A so apparently, one of the only reasons why people think the moon landing is fake is because the Soviets admitted that the U.S. got there first. Which just sounds fucking dumb. Wait a minute, that doesn't answer my question. Wait, so the Soviets admitted defeat so they didn't the space race. because because they just didn't believe that the soviets would not fight about it this yeah is, this is wait what how was would the... they fight that even they're like oh let me fight you in space okay no no no, no not about fighting in space it's about like who got to the moon first the soviets or the americans and apparently one of the biggest claims of unre so how this right there explains it, it's like people believe that it was um the moon landing happened because there was no way that the Soviets would just take it up the ass and admit that they lost the Americans, knowing that like the Soviets. Never right. It's just like they, they believed that like if they just uh, brainwashed the whole entire like uh, broadcast, kind of like yeah, they're not taking other... in like so. There's there's they don't believe it because there's it, you can't they don't believe the Soviets would just let that go and like say okay yeah. they did it first we're gonna, we're not gonna yeah. try anymore. Yeah. From yeah. that. And then there's other claims of like, okay, the dumber ones I've seen. This guy made a list. He's like, people think, well, is it? everything was green screened, everything was fake. There's the way the guy was jumping around didn't look accurate enough. And then people are like, how the fuck would you know what accurate enough means? Yeah, that sounds a little. People are like it's staged. Oh, is it like? Oh, people are like, oh, the shadows and like the flag. 
is blowing in a way that looks to you like looks like you were just was it what? Like, it's just like a fan in a studio it's for, a fan in for a studio. those out there like these are like yeah these are the conspiracy theories like why was there's no shadow cast on that way and then it must be like a studio like, like why is why is the flag like so erect and like flapping around like that i was like yeah there's no there, there's definitely no win in there mythbusters oh, does my, a really good explanation of it my favorite was like the guy like the people were claiming oh yeah i saw was it like they make the photos of, like oh yeah there's a guy just walking out of the studio and the astronauts you know, putting his stuff in the car <laughs> yeah no what but i now that we explained it like the soviet thing it does make sense because during the cold war which is from 1947 to 1991 and the space race uh where the soviet union and the u.s was fighting is is 1955 to 1975 which is right in the smack in the middle of that time period mm-hmm. so I feel like Kyrie irving believes in the that the moon landing was fake who's Kyrie? again Kyrie irving the basketball player yeah, who thinks the Earth is flat? Okay, Speaking of the Earth, I is also flat. consistently say that the U.S. education system has failed people for the last like thirty years. True. I think that's part. Uh, one main reason is there's no standardized education. Like, there not everybody get their equal amount or the knowledge that they should get. Yeah, I don't think they're treating teachers well enough. Like they're not giving people they they're not giving teachers the amount of credit that they deserve mm-hmm. to raise the next generation in a good manner. Like for and, fuck's sake, they have to buy their own. Like the, the teachers have to buy their own supplies, like class supplies for their students. Yeah, it's like, and I know we have to do that here too. Yeah, but, but I. I just think it's like more. In, there's no ba- like the ba- even the basic stuff like pens and like paper and all that. Like it, that should be like provided by the school from the school budget. Yeah, like there's um, I just think there's not enough focus on like critical thinking and encouraging people to problem solve and think for their own. Right. And that's why the U.S. kind of is an issue right now. Like, the education system is not good. Because they're focusing too much on your numbers. Especially if we want to talk Ivy League. Like, hell, look at the SAT. The SAT, at least when I took it, still had about 2,400 points, right? Mm. And you would take it. There was an essay. There was an English. There was a math session. I don't know if anyone in the chat's taken an SAT. But they would take that and they would just give you a number. You take that number, I and then you would apply it to all the universities you want to get into. Or you could just flex it. But we we have grades here. We don't have one standardized number for you. Like, I I don't know. That's just my little small rant about the US education system. It's like that's it's and not that number sticks enough. with you for like ever. That's why I have a good number. Get fucked. And then, like, it, that's how they, like, split across, like, classes. And it defi- like it defines how much you make and then what kind of life you're going to live. Yeah, it's like, can you get into the school? Great. You can probably get this income. Dude, like, honestly, like, having a grade or a number that sticks with you your entire life is so fucking dumb. I don't that's think it'll true. stick to you. You can always retake it, I think. Do I find... Yeah. Do I sound selfish when I say I'm glad I went into trades where that number no. doesn't apply to me? No, no, I don't no. Think that's because you're literally talking to a, someone who's dropping out of school for esports. Like, hell yeah. <laughs> I have never heard anybody brag about their, like, school grades in trade school. Oh, trade school. I was about to flex on <laughs> I was about, like, I was about to like, prove you. <laughs> well, rebuttal. Like, I work hard for my grades. Um, okay, wait. What are your thoughts to people who put their GPA on their resume? What the fuck? It's like, why are you putting it on your resume? I don't understand. No one gives a shit. I mean, I no guess if the about... place they're applying to cares about it, but other than that... But no like, employer why? should care about your GPA to begin with, because 
your GPA doesn't account for other things like so like okay so it's... I'll I'll give you this I have a subpar GPA I would consider same but I still got co-ops at some incredibly large places and I secured a spot uh, at an incredibly large place like I'm talking Canada number two or something. They don't care about your GPA that much. Taiwan right? number one. Taiwan number one. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I don't think they care that much about your grades. Because I it's just like, don't understand it. You got to remember, real. I think people need to realize that your GPA also encompasses courses that you're not good at. Because if mm-hmm. everyone could just take courses they're going to be good at, then yeah, everyone have an inflated ass GPA. Yeah. Like if literally I just took the courses I liked. Easy. Yeah, that all actually gets inflated. It it's a double edged sword, isn't it? You yeah. want to show like when you when you put that grade in there, it's like you want to show that you are good. You are like the best of the best, highest in class. But at the same time, people might look at it as like, why did you put it there? Are you what are you trying to prove? Are you trying to like distract me with your good marks? And I'm not gonna ask you about your like stuff stuff that you're bad about and you're trying to hide. Like, I just feel like <clears throat> you can attach your student transcript if they want really you to when they ask. Because all of my co-ops, interestingly enough, they have asked. But I don't think they care so much about your grades until you really get to a final choke point where maybe mm-hmm. they can use it as a decider. Or like, let's say they're a geotechnical engineer. You look at this kid. He has 68 62 percent on his geotechnical courses it's like oh i don't know about that it's like at that point it's like you know you don't know too much that's that's just my thoughts on it Uh, and i I also think it's kind of stupid when people put like i'm a candidate for this (laughs) really i know you're you're i know who i can take a stab at like oops certain person i think we might be taking a stab with the same certain person but you know yeah oh <laughs> and it's like if you guys also also if you if anyone in the chat wants to like blotch out all of their personal information or like has any resume or cover letter questions i can help you take a look at that oh, while yeah. we're just hanging out because this is a like you know reing is just gone out of existence so we're here for the next 50 minutes Mm-hmm. No, I think we can cut. I think we can cut it early a bit if we're just. Oh, I mean, uh, I'm. Ha- we're 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 branching we'll, off like different. We'll, we'll see how it goes, right? Like we can always cut it early if we have to. I don't think it's like because then there's no like full topic to end with, right? Yeah, it's nothing full. It's, it's, it's more like everything. It's more like like Today's chill, whatever, right? chill, live with the chat, whatever. Like, okay, so I know majority of my Discord on this. Okay, it's either Canada, America. Southeast Asia or Europe. That's in my Discord. I think right now there's the majority. It's either us American or Southeast Asia. You got a pretty good spread. Yes. Ours is just Vancouver. Yeah. Well, <laughs> plus one Saskatchewan. Yes, plus one Sk- Saskatchewan. That's basically it for us. So, Darian, can you tell me? how your server came to be wait give me a second how yeah how about our education system rats ours no 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 no. Uh, (laughs) do you live in the same country (laughs) (laughs) all right (laughs) that's an hour How was everyone's like education? Or um, like did it prepare oh, you uh, for your post secondary? Like yeah, did it like um provide any leeway? Like did it help you pass some some people that would just go into that same uh major but they didn't have any prior experience or anything that leads up to it? Ah. Uh. Uh, Reggie has the same thing. Grade 11 to 12 is useless. I... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Whoa. I made all of my progress in grade 11 to 12, I think. <laughs> I think that was when I, 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 think that was I, when I figured out everything. Like, By the that way, was when grade 12 is was... the only year that you're taking girls to dance, and then that's when you make it big. 
I'm kidding. Thanks, I hate it. Who says, did it prepare me for the real world? No. Oh, I know someone in my chat. Wait, let me, let me. Blue, blue. Yeah, I'm just pinging everyone in this channel. <laughs> no, I'm pinging him in the server. Blair, what, how about you? How was the, uh, the school really help you find it, like, pro-secondary? Did it, like, really help? Or... No, absolutely not. Or was it, um, did you go a completely different direction from what you... So how I ended up in my major was that in 11th grade, I took a computer science class and I hated it. I did grade in it because I handed everything in. And at the no. end, I told the teacher, I'm not going to take your class next next year you can't just do that and he was too. like why no he's a chill teacher he's like super super chill but anyway he's also yes. super super smart which is why he can't like he can't teach to you unless you're on the same brain wavelength mm. like you know higher higher being like smart people shit like they just telepathically understand each other but i was like underneath that wavelength so it went like this over my head anyway so i didn't understand and i was like i'm not taking your class next year and he was like oh why i was like i'm super bad at coding and i don't think coding's for me he was like oh uh well i know that you have an interest in art so you should try out uh like design at this university and i was like okay cool and then i took graphic design the next year over and did yearbook um but i ended up planting myself in this class again because he mm -hmm. was teaching ap calc and i was like before the wavelength was going this much over my head, but an AP Calc was going this much over my head. <laughs> and I was like, there's too many smart people in this class, and I'm too dumb for this. Yes, I had the lowest grade in that class. <laughs> Why can I say that? Because I got a 50, a flat Ooh. 50. I'm yeah, pretty but... sure he pity marked me. Lamau. I'm I'm reading here I... like it's getting high grades related to science law and chill the subject was like Chinese. Ooh. <laughs> Language um... subjects are always chill for me. Right. Like at at that point, I realized that I was doing like I didn't understand the material so much that doing the homework didn't even matter anymore. Mm. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh man, I don't even know what the fuck happened. I took AP Calc in school in grade 12, and, like, I got, I think, a 59, right? And mm -hmm. then in first year, I took, okay, so I caught five on the AP Calc test, which was fucking ridiculous. How did I get five and, like, 59 in this class? That's really good. I was upset. And then I was like, okay, maybe I'm not as good as calculus as I thought. Went into university, took the first year calculus class, and then... I basically challenged the professor because I was like, why don't you just teach it this way? I was like, why are you going roundabouts to do all of these steps when you can do it this way? Because I, I was genuinely curious at that point. And he was like, if you don't like it, don't be here. And I was like, okay, bye. I never showed up to any of his classes. I got 85% at the end of that or something. I it's pretty good, well, actually. I was upset. I was purely, it was studying purely out of spite. But you know, I got bitch slapped in the Calc 2 class. I got like 69. <laughs> but not taught uh, by him. So nice. Fine. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, so in high school, though, honestly, like in grade 11, 12, I took, was it marketing, economics, and like all the business courses and biology. Right. My, my current major is not even my first choice or second choice. <laughs> I was, I just, I just gave up on school and then yeah. I just, uh, I was forced to take uh, ma my math classes on in the summer because oh, I like my like my they like it was not that bad like I was learning already a little ahead at math tutor like uh, 
like a year and a half ahead of school. So I did that. And then uh, I did two years of online. So I did 11 and 12 online. So that freed up um, my like class in high school to mm-hmm. take whatever I want. Um, I wanted all like trades classes because in starting grade, from grade 10, I got the idea from my instructor saying, hey, you're pretty skilled at this. And then there's so much you can learn about this. And this is really like a passion that I like. So go ahead. And I'm like, I wanted to be in robotics. That was my first thing. Yeah. And I can understand anything that was hands on, but I can't understand the physics of it because in, I went all the way to do physics 12, but physics 12, I barely passed. I was 52 percent. Dude, Makarenko wasn't an amazing teacher if you weren't good at physics, though. So. Yeah, like, it was hard. During, like, like yeah, all the all the examples that they gave was, like, I can do it, no problem. But you, when you say, like, theoretical stuff, like, if I don't have the object in my hand, I can't understand it. Mm-hmm. So it, it was basic, and the test was all theory, and I can't, I, it didn't process in my in my head. Did my Mando 12 teacher pitied me so hard that she like waved a bunch of my bad oh. grades? So she, cause she was like, I need, she's like, oh, you want to be in university here? Let me just wave all of these for you. Wait, I see, I see sharp objects in your hands. Darian. Is that a CSGO knife? Yes, that's my oh, battle. That's my fade. <laughs> it's our fade knife. Did honestly, recently, it was like, what is it? I don't know why, like, in, in the past while, I don't know how long, though, I kind of want to get into data analytics. <laughs> I really need to sharpen this knife. Same. Let's I, wanna, I only use this to open, like, um, packages and... These are unboxing yeah. knives. The unboxing <laughs> knives? This is... This is should not be an unboxing knife. This, this should not be an unboxing knife either. This Wait a minute, Darian. This is a very <laughs> nice knife. This is a CRKT uh, deviation. This is a, this is a whatever the fuck this is, factory worn battlefinger. Is that is that a deer? Yes, it's my deer. Look. I uh, don't collect knives. Oh, dear. See, what I, if somebody I... into your home? She chokes them. She chokes them up with the uh, the fishing line, the the weed whacker line. Oh. Dude, I just die. <laughs> just death. I mean, there's like heavy objects in my room. Okay, what's in you? What is something that's heavy enough that you can pick up and throw? Like enough herself. that you can throw across like the room. Candles. Herself, she can levitate. <laughs> you see herself. I know. Anything, anything that, that can make a thud sound when you throw it. Basically, Wait. it's good enough to like hit someone in the. Like, I got these glass candles. Mug. That itself could give someone a concussion if you throw hard enough. I know. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was saying. Like, how says throw your keyboard? Throw my key- No, my keyboard That's costs expensive. $400. That's expensive, man. Yes, everyone here has a $400 keyboard. Propane like tank. My mid towers. I'm not throwing my computer. I'm not throwing my keyboard. How Maybe heavy? How tower? heavy is your mid tower? To throw. How heavy is your computer? Jesus Christ! I mean, it has Why? to be somewhat heavy if you got all the functions, or like if you got all the components in there. Like yeah, mine's at least twenty pounds. I mean, it's like light enough Wait, for me to pounds? lift up, but I don't think I can throw it. I'll throw my Google Home. <laughs> <laughs> I can throw my lamps, but that's expansive. Oh, you I know what? I don't need dog. I can throw I like all these metal widgets that I have all of them. <laughs> I basically have a rock. I can throw melatonin at them. The screecher. <laughs> the little portable speaker that I have that I don't use anymore, because if you guys take a look back there. Um fuck, fuck. This is a a oh, fuck shit. Oh god, oh god. Is that the echo? That is a ultimate ears. Um, so I don't, I don't need this anymore. I'll just keep that as someone as hard as Mine's I can. Mine's just a, the one I have. It's just like a thirty dollar one that I bring to work. Uh, speaker. Yeah. Until some asshole band music playing at work. 
that's unfortunate. Just because he messed up on a piece of work that he did, and then he blamed it on the guy that was playing radio next to him, and then he bitched at it so much that he went to straight to management and uh, to talk about it, and they issued like a whole company wide no music in like um, the warehouse, like in that's the whole shop. I was like, fuck that. And that was like a, and, a this, Karen. and this is like a half a year into my work. And I was like, what the fuck? It's like now, now I would like, he moved to like the afternoon uh, shift and in the morning mm-hmm. that the other guy's playing his radio again. We love it. And I'm, while I'm working like uh, quietly in the corner, I just have like my Samsung buds in my ears and just playing music. Right. But note back to like the being smart in high school thing out of like all the overachievers in high school a common theme i noticed was that they significantly um underperformed in language classes like in comparison to other classes they Mm. had like it wasn't that they didn't try in it it was that, like, I guess it's the whole, like, left brain, right brain thing, even though, like, it's been proven that there isn't specific quadrants of your brain organized for those functions. It's more like because they're putting so much of their stat points into um, that type of school subject, their um, comprehension of uh, language subjects isn't as strong. Mm. Onion, say hello. Comes. I, it's hard to say from me. I can't tell you because it's hard to say why. No, as in my mom did a really, really good job putting folds into my brain. So like I have a very well-rounded like nice. skill set, which is great. So language arts fine for me. Music, I don't like it, but like I'm really good at it. Mm-hmm. School, I guess I'm okay at it. Sports, I'm pretty okay at it. Mm-hmm. But I think what I lost was my street smarts. Because I think in my friend group, it's either me or David. Is like, how are we the book smartest people in the group? But mm-hmm. both of us, you put us both in a room and we're like apes. Uh-huh. Like, we're actually like two gorillas, like, bashing water or something. <laughs> I could actually yeah. see that a little. <laughs> I'm dumb in school. <laughs> I I am more street. I am probably like I the more the most street smart one out of all of you here. But then that I suffer in my grades. <laughs> my grades suffer. Suffer. I don't know how street smart I am because I'm not good at with my grades. <laughs> Yeah, so, like, that's the thing, too. So, it's, like, because the nature of my work, right, like, sponsorships and always, like, talking to people, like, haggling and shit, I have to be street smart more than book smart because textbooks aren't going to teach me how to uh, convince someone to just give me stuff for free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just, I, like, school has not been kind to me. Like, if it's hands-on stuff I like, sure, then I'll be, like, getting A's and shit. Yeah. But somewhere I'm just sitting, like, econ and, like, accounting when I just have to sit there and, like, grind numbers... So that, was, Chewie's, that was disgusting. Chewie's asking in the chat, book smart or street smart? Depends on what class you focus into. Like, if you are in, like, more extracurricular classes, like, you'll probably be learning more street smarts in it. You'll you'll pick up more street smart skills. But if you are in physics, chemistry, all the STEM <laughs> courses, like, you're only going to be learning book stuff. And unfortunately, that's just the case. Mm-hmm. Like, For, if, if uh, you... Like, oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's essentially just of what you dedicate your time to. You're going to know if you're more book smart if you're, like, always spending your time studying, like, doing band classes. But through most people, like, you can already tell us who's street smart based on, like, what their prior does in school. Yeah. Major in drinking at university. That's that's yeah. just no smarts. <laughs> that's all the smarts. You no, figure you out what you like. But generally, if you're going to be a mixologist, you should just go for a 10-month program instead of majoring in uni. That's the real loss. You can get, um, you can get a, what is it? A, no, it was 
certificate and like yeah certificate and brewing i asked a few what is this potions class no like hogwarts alcohol alcohol Dude, it's Oriental. better to go elsewhere for mixology instead of SFU. Like, uh, if it's one piece of knowledge I want to pass on to anyone, and I do this in for like when I talk to other first years, because I work in residence, right? It is major in what gets you money, minor in what you love. So, like, mm, I I right. think bartending is cool. I want to get a bartending's license, but. That's, I'm not going to be doing that for the rest of my life. Wait, I well, majored in what I like and minored in what makes me money, though. Oh, you made a mistake. <laughs> well, Benny, I'm not going to school for a reason. <laughs> oh, I just choose not to major in hobbies. I was like, don't major in your hobby or else you'll hate it. It's hard uh, to say unless you really love your hobby. I don't see that because machining is my hobby and... I enjoy every part of it. Like, I feel like you can... It's definitely valid, only if they're not 100% into it. But if you're like Curtis, who, like, only ever sees himself probably touching metals in his life, like, then... <laughs> the way you like... put it that way, I don't know why it's so weird. Like, it, it's... No, when you have a... And it also, when you have the support of your family... I do not have oh, the support of my family. Family support fucking makes it. Yeah. But I also picked one of the three Asian job choices. Doctor, but... lawyer, engineer. <laughs> yeah. Farm your face. Businessman. But like, if you pick, I, I picked one of them, so I get family support. But I almost feel like it would be conditional. Like, that scares me sometimes a little bit, but unfortunately, that is what it is. But, you know, what? Yeah, you know, I, I got the support right now, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I don't. I mean, they gave up is, on me afterwards. Is doing something not what you like the better choice for a better secured future over your desired choice? So, you should at least like it a little bit. Yeah, this goes back to the um, major in what gets you money, minor in what you love. But to an extent, like you go, you're you're gonna want to find something you somewhat love, because I don't love engineering. I really want to be a secondary school teacher. But really, I pay to see you as a high school teacher. Dude, oh I was. I'm good at teaching. I'm have... just saying. There were so many 25 year old high school teachers in my high school that were not my teacher. And, like, I knew all of them. They were like, eee! And they're like, eee! And it was so <laughs> yeah. funny. And they're like, um, bee! There yeah. was this one guy. He <laughs> carried it? around a Deadpool um, protein shaker, like, all the time. Like, that was his cup. Like, that was his bottle. And he was like, yeah, married at 25, super happy. <laughs> school okay, you just said two contradictory things married at 25 and super happy <laughs> <laughs> no no he's he like, just got okay. married so that's why he's super happy he didn't mm -hmm. just get married but he oh. was like when i say super happy i mean like as happy as a suffering post-secondary student <laughs> which is like happy but like slowly dying on the inside <laughs> yeah it's getting just so just getting by Honestly, I don't know. He was, like, so relaxed. It was pretty fun. I mean, like, when you have a job and then you're just, like, going every day, you're not worried that you don't have any income. Right, that's exactly. basically it. Like, that's that's the, like, going to the, uh, is a better choice to, like, securing a future over a desired choice. It's really mm -hmm. about surviving. If you're, yeah. make, if, you're, if you're not, like, dying or trading your life force for, like, your job... It, it's you're good you're you're surviving you have even if you don't have free time like you go to work and you come home and you rest yes it's like a you know like repetitive cycle but you're surviving so mm -hmm. are you happy it, it's really relative 
I just pursued what I wanted to, I thought I would enjoy the most in school just because I'm the kind of kid, like, if it's school, like, if I don't like it, then I don't know I'm not going to, like, if it's not something I enjoy, I'm not going to focus full attention to it, and that's, like, what suffers. Yeah, and I don't know. I also agree with that, I think. Like, I won't pay full. Okay, well, I, I'm conditional. It's like, I'm, I'm not going to pay full attention until crippling pressure. <laughs> and then I'll do it. I'm more, I, I so guilt myself to, yeah, I, I don't like, I, again, go to the back. I want to be a secondary school teacher. I don't like engineering that much, but job security, money. That's what I'm in for. Maybe I'll tutor in my spare time, which I do already. And I enjoy teaching through that. But like, I am able to power myself through university in a really bad, unhealthy, sunken cost fallacy method where I'm like, I paid $650 for this. I can't fuck this up. Like, I'm not going to do this again. <laughs> I'm not going to lose $650. And then e I put sports, it. baby. Yeah, but if you don't enjoy it, you may not like it. I understand that. There's lots of things in my degree I'm studying right now that I don't enjoy. Um, and it's really nice to do what you like. So I would recommend picking something that you somewhat like, but also guarantees a survival in the way of like a job. And people tend, like if, if I can recommend anything like trades, get some schooling done, get mm -hmm. some hands-on work if you like that. Um, you come out, you're guaranteed money. Like it's, it's, they basically like you go out and you express the intent to work. They hand money to you basically like, yeah, it's a little more hands-on and dangerous, but it's, you, you have, you, you can have that time to sometimes it's just, things. it's sometimes it's really luck or, um, it, you can try your best to like find the right balance between what you like and then it has a good pay. But you're it, like, most of the time you have to choose one over the other, and yeah. you see extremely lucky person get something in the middle, and they will tell you that they have another problem with it. It's like it's like a boss battle. Like you, you get past this level and you like beat the boss. You find exactly what you want. You beat it, and then you go to on to the like, and then you find out. There's a second stage to it, and it's a whole new problem. <laughs> Fucking Hades. Man. It's like a whole new problem that nobody has seen before because they're. It, it, uh, yeah, it's that just few like percentage. Dude, fuck. I Sorry. knew I knew you guys were gonna think about like. Uh, <laughs> Hades. Man, the first time I defeated Hades, I was like, eh, and then he he stood back up, and I was like. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to get involved in military mm. due to the culture. Sorry, I'm just reading in chat. I was being a yeah, pilot. I, Slash I don't engineer know. Be like... that, that's just my like thoughts to you. It's like you should try to find something in the middle because you. it, it, it may be tough to say, but I think everyone has to accept with themselves like they may not be happy 100% with what they do. But then you can always seek happiness in other avenues to fulfill what you're missing. Um, because it is very rare for somebody to pick something that they love, but also get a lot of money in there. So getting a different avenue of enjoyment and happiness is something that's very important. So it's like, as long as you're happy, anything happens, like you can do it. So try to pick something that's not going to make you too upset. Happy is just a state of mind. True. Okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we good? I'll yeah. do a happy check. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> okay, good. Good, we're on the same page. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> this guy's toast shaved his head. Oh, you're kidding! Wait, I need to see this. Wait, her. Isn't his name like Jeremy? Oh my God! Whoa. He looks like a monk. Oh what happened? 
He has an interesting head shape. I'm watching the the the, the, like the delay, and I'm just... yeah. He has a. I, I I like almost don't want to shave my head because I don't want to see my head shave. I have a flat spot in the. I back don't of have my a head great right head shape. Like, like the back of my head is flat. Yeah. Yeah. Like I never thought about um shaved head people. Speaking of shaved head people, <laughs> remember? Have you heard of like Ink Brother? No, no. You you said who sent that TikTok video of like the guy that has like a really like egg shaped head? Oh, that was head. me. Yeah, oh, <laughs> me. I, oh, I didn't realize that was like a, such a like there was a huge like following of the meme. That was the guy who could sing, right? Yeah. And then I didn't realize like the song that he was singing, like that like chord, like or that verse got turned into a meme. Toast. And then, yeah. Yeah, People so are photoshopping nothing. the last airbender, like, Aang's arrow on his head, and I'm like... <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, no. no, no, you got it right. It, that's the, the... That's the line. Yeah, it's like a song. <laughs> oh, I know what song that is. It's yeah. so old. <laughs> Toast fights against Ozai. <laughs> what? Ozai, the Phoenix King from the Last Airbender. No, 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 no. Like, what? What about Toast? <laughs> he shaved. <laughs> this guy's He's Toast the... shaved his head. That's who we saw just earlier. Oh. Yeah, this guy's Toast. Oh man. Oh wow, that's a lot. Oh my god. Uh... Are you guys looking forward to <laughs> Cause is like, oh that's him. The Airbender Netflix series. Yeah. I'm scared. I am scared. Dude, speaking of bald. I mean remember I, I how they the haircut this week. What's that? I what'd you say? Finally get top a hair. Oh. Wow. He actually gets a haircut. Yay. You're doing it. He's not actually shaving his head. Wait, can we shave your head, Darian? I'll donate. I'll donate money to a charity of your choosing. Yeah. No, he said donate to me. Donate, donate to me. Yeah. No, you don't get my thoughts on Interstellar. Amazing. Good. Never movie. watched. I love it. I watch that movie twice a year. Dude, but it's only good on a big screen. I I just watch like I watch the whole movie through, and I even watch like clips like monthly okay like it, it's just oh, by the way as you can see i have set up my curtain hey oh yeah was you... drilling the holes put in those nails did you did rod. you drill it into the studs instead of the drywall okay what i oh. can say mm. is that it doesn't exist up there like there's not enough like, we were checking for it along the wall. Yeah. And it wasn't beeping. Oh, was there a battery tried? in it? There was a battery in it. Did you check it? Like, did you actually check it, like, to an actual solid piece and see if it actually beeps? Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, wow. That's I'm surprised were, like, that huge wall doesn't have it. There no, were very few, like, they were about this thick. And there were very few. Yeah, yeah, okay. You I know what? As long as it doesn't fall down. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've also got like the anchors. The the anchor screws. Yeah. The kind that sorry, not the screws, but like the I don't know what it's called. You put it in and then when you put the screw in, it makes it flatten so that it Yeah. Basically it it's wall. like a, a a folded shape like this. So when the screw uh when you're screwing it it like basically pulls yeah, it in bingo. and it retracts yeah, yeah, and then yeah, in the cool. behind the drywall it creates an anchor mm -hmm. um nerd i how heavy is your curtains they're very very light okay that's good yeah yeah i'm just concerned yeah. about like when you're sleeping there i would not do that if it was heavy if it was <laughs> heavy i'd get a bigger curtain rod and actually look for actually be concerned for the suck I got this giant fucking window in my room, man. You, wait, That's Claire, amazing. you say that when you're like, you get a larger uh, shower, uh, curtain like rod. 
That just makes it heavier. <laughs> no, I mean like with um, larger as in longer so that I have more room to work with. Because the stuck is further from the window. Mm, okay. But then yeah. the longer it is, you're going to have a, you need a bigger diameter rod because it'll flex in the middle because it's weak. In exactly. The That's why I said a larger curtain rod. But you still have to put more anchors. Yes. But it's still, if it's not properly in the stud, it's in drywall. <laughs> like I'm not processing. This isn't, it, this isn't drywall. Look, look, Curt Curtis. You know what? It's fine. If it doesn't fall down, it'll do. <laughs> Don't worry about it, nerd. <laughs> I've, I've done some terrible things, too. Yes, but my, if I did I it with heavier curtains, bigger diameter rod... I've seen more anchors. I've seen someone just pull rod. like the curtain and it, it just snagged on the rod and the whole thing just came down. And it's and it and it's it's loud, but at the same time I'm laughing my ass off. It's like how often does this happen? I'm like It's so unfortunate. Claire fucking destroys her wall. No, look at how light it is. Where'd you Am get I the curtain where'd you get the curtain? Amazon. Ah. It's polyester. Mm. Does it block out light enough or does it bleed through? It blocks it. Take mm. that. We have blackout curtains. You don't, Curtis. <laughs> Get fucking. No, I just. Right. Good. My blanket is my. My blockout. Like, uh, curtains. That's not enough. Because I just cover... I cover. mean, in Curtis's defense, he's the only one out of the four of us who sleeps early and well. Well, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't say well. I only sleep five hours a day. Yeah, I don't know about well. But he sleeps early. Do I? I mean, quality, it's a quality of sleep thing, not a duration of sleep. Well, judging by how much you guys dream... It, I'm guessing you guys don't have that good of a sleep. Because yeah. most of the time, I just sleep, like, I fall asleep, and then it feels like only like, a few minutes have passed, and then I wake up. I'm a fucking insane dreamer. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I just want to get some good sleep. Your brain <sighs> activity is rem. insane, you guys. You know, that's what, that's what comes with being big brain. Yeah, I have that during the day. I don't have that during the night. <laughs> Like, I just have this stuff. Uh... Melatonin. Sleep. Super sleep. Knock me the fuck out for about eight oh. hours. How? I take melatonin and then I. Don't you start becoming like dependent on that? No, I'm trying to. I'm, very, I'm being very, very careful with it. Because dependence is the last thing I want to build. So, mm. yeah, no. It, it's I just like a lot of feeling. I it's cannot like, take melatonin. It doesn't work on me. I'm, I, I require too high of a dosage. That's not safe. Have you tried NyQuil? Darian body, body big. Uh, Bladder you know, long. You know, those buck, <laughs> you know those Buckley's like gel at like night? There's day and night, right? Yeah. Uh, those, one of those pill, if I eat it, I'll get drowsy for two days. Yeah, heard his body small. I uh, I took two like first time I tried it. I took the two <laughs> the re the regular um regular doses is like two pills. I was knocked out for two days. Like no not mom, like not the full not the full like time like forty eight hours, but I fell asleep like maybe at least five times during that. Yeah, it's push up time. Oh yeah. Wait, how many people have redeemed that? Three of them got claimed. Oh, uh, four of them got claimed. Five of them? I am retiring from the podcast. Isn't that 25 push-ups? <laughs> Is it five for each? It's ten. Last was ten, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was drunk. five for each, I'm pretty sure. Well, Darian oh. made the mistake of asking me and you, Benny, like how many we want them to do per. Oh. We're just gonna do five each now because if people keep redeeming it like this. Oh yeah, it says ten. 
Oh, dear. That's why I said make it more expensive last time. Not my fault. Yeah, this is 500 channel points. I'll fucking do it again. Wait, where was that I thing? Claire, you were, you, Claire, you mentioned about the, uh, um, how you made it a limit of, like, it, like the sold out thing, right? I didn't Fine. do it. Somebody else did. But. I'm gonna uh, go pee and then I'll do the 50. Fuck you all. And I'm quitting the podcast. Yeah, then we can call it a day. Be happy I haven't claimed any. But you don't need to watch out for me to be active. I work out four four times a week. Well, look, I got uh, your back. Okay, virtual push up. Ha! 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 Oh man, Mister Man, our our breadwinner is gone. If he never changes it next week, I'll claim all of them. I have. 3, oh 000. yes. I have three thousand. I have enough for eight. Wow. We're gonna give him a home workout. AD push ups. I have four K. Okay, chat, like just you and me, secret. Like he doesn't have to know about this. He has heart with floors and sit up hurts. Why does it hurt? Does you roll your ass bone? His tailbone. Tailbone and like his your ass bone. And our, like me and Darian are skinny people and our spine like they have no gonna... fat yeah there's no fat so we just like knuckles down like basically into the floor he's back we don't have to talk about it anymore okay we're good yeah <laughs> 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 uh, did you have a good pee no was it forceful <laughs> no <laughs> Did it just cut? Was right. it like was it like a long right, drizzle, wait, it's, or it's did it just come out like a dam? All right, you stop. I'm gonna. I'll just do twenty five of each. Is that enough for you guys? I, am, I, I mean, nobody saying. in chat is disagreeing, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, fuck yeah. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so happy with myself. <laughs> I'm so glad I have carpet. Hardwood's not the worst thing. It's not. You ever get rug burn though? You, Nasty. You know what? I feel like he should. There should be an argument, like because basically what push up and then he should just like do burpees. But wait, he's on the second floor, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Okay, never mind. His dog will attack him. Look One, at him. One, two, two three. three. Okay, good to know he's being honest. There you go. Good job. Good job. Oh, I can feel this tailbone on his on the floor now. <laughs> oh my god! He's like a one. one. Oh, it's ass. Two. <laughs> He's oh. slipping as well. He's <laughs> four. Oh my god! Look at his headphone Five. indent in his hair, though. <laughs> Dude, he's like Princess Leia. <laughs> the cinnamon buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> like a little kid who's going out in the snow on a snow day with like <laughs> the earmuffs. Oh. oh no! Look at him! Oh! Somebody please clip this. That we can throw it in Discord later. <laughs> You can hear something crack. Yeah, everything's cracking. He's oh, like... yes, babe. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, that's crunchy. Crunchy? I wish I could crack my neck like that. I want to. Like, it actually will make my neck feel better. Like, 
don't know. I kind of like push my. <laughs> I went. I went to my. I went to my physio, and, and that day, that day, he like just like basically it just softened up this area, and then he just like crack both my like side of my neck, mm-hmm. and I was so. Good. But if they crack it wrong, if your yeah. chiropractor fucks you up, then you're fucked up forever. Yeah, Darian, I'm so proud of you. I hate all of you. <laughs> Then increase your channel point reward value. <laughs> you gotta increase it enough that I can't claim two of them. Yeah, that's good. Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> but Darian, like, gotta commend you. Like, thank you for keeping like a a very straight back. <laughs> <laughs> like to do it because i've seen people just like com- dog shit like completely bad in like peak condition yeah I, and i hurt my back seeing them like do it really hurt <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right i think this is a good point to call it for the day we will figure out what happened to Riang and get back to everyone yeah we will figure out how he died, and we'll also figure out how to revive him. I'm wondering, yeah. Has he messaged anything on our chat? No, dude's oh. either asleep or he's just asleep. out. He's gone. We were playing. Uh, we were playing some ultimate, like, uh, well, not ultimate. We're just throwing around uh, frisbee, and we kind of had to. Oh, but you guys are playing badminton. That it was too. too windy. Like, it, it, I that, missed that, out on that, ultimate. That, you fuckers. We. Like, whatever. Maybe because we got him to exercise, like we actually go out and do some sports. Maybe it's Wait, that's him not up. fair. You guys play all. Well, it was, yeah. it was just like us in a circle and then throwing frisbee at each other. Yeah, that's fun, dude. I can just whip it at Ruiz. <laughs> but yeah, who knows? Well, we'll figure it out. It's it's been a while since we've all really gotten moving, so I can totally see if he just passed. I fell out. asleep on this chair like an hour before the. Uh, same. I also almost I, I rolled out of bed at 855. I was okay. wa- I had like Babish like running on the loop, like watching like nice. autoplay. And then I like his smooth soothing voice is just like Oh, it's great. Yeah. But yeah. It's great. All right. Ended it with the push-ups? Yes. So, any last questions from chat? Chat, give me a number one uh, up, uh, between one and two, three thousand. We'll make, I'll make, to... I'm gonna make this really short. Good, interesting small talk. Give me a number between number one, two, two number two. two. Yeah, interesting small talk. I enjoyed this. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Just kind of going on about stuff. No, nope, that's the table of content. Okay, number two. What is your greatest fear? Being alone. Losing my brother. I don't have a greatest fear. I do not. I do. I avoid thinking of losing my brother. <laughs> Mog meeting dairy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to say Mog fully. <laughs> yeah. Darian, what's yours? Doing more push-ups and setups. <laughs> Sorry, what? You want to do it again? I've got 3,000 points, buddy. You. I got 4,000. I'm going to ban all of you. <laughs> I, <laughs> can I can take it away. Am I, I a mod? Wait, hold on. Am I a mod? Oh, dang. I. Gary, what happened to Discord? Oh yeah, your Discord's dead. It kaputted. Cool. <laughs> yeah. this, this is a good time to also call. Guess it. this is our ending screen. Yeah. Goodbye. This is our ending. Goodbye. Bye, friends.